Roger Federer slumped to a shock U.S. Open defeat against Grigor Dimitrov on Tuesday, meaning his wait for a title at Flushing Meadows goes on, and he may look to his busy schedule as one reason for his early exit. The Swiss ace has not won a Grand Slam stateside since 2008 and looked badly out of sorts during the 3-6, 6-4, 3-6, 6-4, 6-2 tool loss. Federer later admitted that he was struggling with a back problem, and the 38-year-old has more reason than most to complain about his brutal workload. New data from tennis around the world reveals the 20-time Grand Slam winner has traveled significantly further over the course of the last year than great rivals Novak Djokovic and Rafael Nadal. Federer has traveled 46,615 kilometers attending tournaments in the past 12 months, claiming three titles along the way but struggling at some of the lesser events. And following their respective exits at Flushing Meadows, Federer has earned nearly £3 million less in prize money than Djokovic despite playing the same number of matches, while Federer has racked up £4.7 million in winnings. Djokovic has pocketed £7.5 million on his travels, clocking up 35,413 kilometers without taking into account flights home. Rafael Nadal splits the two with a prize purse of £6.6 .6 million and but has the lowest total travel distance of 35,131 km, with all three stars clocking up well over 30,000 km in the last year. It's unsurprising to see some wariness settle into their play. Speaking after his defeat to Dimitrov, Federer said, I just feel low, just disappointed it's over because I did feel like I was actually playing really well after a couple of rocky starts. It's just a missed opportunity to some extent that you're in the lead, you can get through, you have two days off after. It was looking good. Nadal remains in contention for the title at Flushing Meadows but if the Spaniard is not successful, it means there will be a first new U.S. Open champion since 2014 when Marin Cilic claimed victory. Let's block hats. Why?